I'll hold it for you. Oh, you no, I ain't holding. It. It's okay. Um, so tell me a little bit about what it means to be the speaker here tonight. What it means to what? To be the speaker here tonight. It means that everybody else was busy. I have no idea why they would ask me to come here, but I'd spoken to the Dallas Republican Party before. And I'm really looking forward to sharing thoughts and ideas. Just things I believe. I'm just an average citizen. I'm not a politician. I'm just going to talk about things I believe and things I've experienced. What are some of the key points of your speech tonight? Pardon? What are some of the key points of your speech tonight? I think that life is a matter of choices, where we are good or bad, because of the choice that we make. You make good choices when you associate people that you can trust. People are committed actors and people can't. There are too many politicians that you can't trust. They say whatever they want to say in order to stay elected. Let's worry about our family. Let's worry about our country. Let's fight to protect both. I know that you um, talked about, in one of the speeches that I saw, um, you talked about commitment and about um, making sure that you have someone to love and something to do and the faith and um, hope. Can you tell me a little bit about how you're going to touch on that tonight or what that? Well, everybody needs four things in your life where you have a boy. That's something to do, someone to love, someone to believe in, but something to hope for. And I think having something to hope for determines whether you're either growing or you're dying. Doesn't have a thing to do with age, but has everything to do. Am I trying to accomplish something? Am I trying to uh, improve upon any phase of my life? Because if you aren't trying to improve your marriage, your business, your relationship with people, you're really dying. Did you think when you first started coaching football that you would ever be at the point that people would pay you to come and speak in Spurs? Oh, absolutely not. I had one speech course in my entire life. I was speech 101 at Kent State, and I got a seat. How speaking came about, I have a list, uh, was we won the Orange Bowl in Arkansas, and IBM, Ford, General Motors said, would you come talk to our people? I said, about what? Just what you did to turn the team around. And then all of a sudden, IBM exploded. The people in the audience were running Kroger. Would you come speak to our people? I, uh, I have no idea why people would want to listen to me. What would you say to young people who think maybe they're not destined for big things? What would you tell them about? I think that? the most important thing in this world in any individual's life is having a good self-confidence. There are two types of people. Those that lift people up and those that pull people down. And the only ones that pull people up are those that are very self-confident because they like the choices they make. They understand right from wrong. That is absolutely essential. You choose to do drugs, drop out of school, join a gang, get tattoos from head to bottom. You choose to have difficulty in life, and please stop blaming me for the choices you make. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks.